Well, this is all allegedly, but a Cincinnati promoter is claiming that Young Thug screwed him over on 40K, pushing the date and not showing up to a show. But this is all allegedly because there's two sides to every story. And, uh, you know, they're saying he's saying that he skipped the show to go to All Star. But we don't know. Sometimes there's a deeper story than this. So let's just get into this right, right quick. Stuart Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to run eyes on the channel, join Tower Media at gmail.com. Well, we're talking about Young Thug today. Now, this happens with rappers sometimes. They get into a dispute with a promoter. It could have been something where he breached the contract. The promoter could have breached the contract, and that's why Thug might have not have shown up. Now, he has receipts. He seems convincing, and this happened with Young M.A., about a year a year ago with another promoter where he claims he was beat out of 30,000 or something like that. I think sometimes rappers don't show up to their commitments. Um, I'm not saying this is the case here because Young Thug, I mean, I haven't heard this from him before. You know what I mean? So, like, if I haven't heard it from him before, I don't know why he'd be doing it now. Um, but, you know, he's saying he got finessed. I don't know, you know, uh, I'll play you the video of the promoter talking, but this is all alleged because we don't know what really happened here. Young Thug, this is going to have to play out with a court, but he was, he said, y'all be so quick to bash me when shit ain't even they fault. He meant fault. Uh, he said, uh, you're not going to promote a, an event for a month or two, constantly tagging an artist in Twitter and sh if the show is fake. It would have he would have said the show was fake. Okay, so this guy is not really typing very coherently. Uh, he said, "I did my part on the Young Thug, and then he put us in a bad position. Uh, that man, forty k, he pushed the date back. So it was probably like usually pay the the back end when they arrive. So maybe it was just twenty k in their chart. I don't know. I, who knows." Uh, First time saying he had court on January 13th, then he switched to February 17th, knowing he was going to be in L.A. All-Star Weekend. This shit is crazy, but I'm going to take him to court. I got a contract and proof. I sent the, mo the man money. It's Thug's fault. So I don't know, but uh, it's all allegedly because he could have breached a contract of some sort, or I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. I mean, we're not figuring anything out. Except for a court and him to prove and those things are hard to prove sometimes, man. You know, I had people accuse me of things sometimes when they breached a contract or they didn't even pay, you know, like they didn't pay all the money or, you know, or they didn't book a flight. You know, it could be something so, so minute. Maybe he didn't book the jet, you know, who knows? We don't know. So anyways, we got to give Young Thug the benefit of the doubt. Um, anyways, uh, what do you guys think? I'm going to play it. You guys tell me what you guys think. And that's it. Niggas just be getting on, on here just to talk. I don't know what's be going on. I lost respect for a lot of people too. People that I thought was cool. I understand it's cool to get laughs and shit on Facebook, but niggas know, niggas really know me. It's cool to get laughs on Facebook, but niggas know me. Niggas know where I be, niggas know where I'm gonna be. Like all that little funny shit, like that's corny. Like niggas ain't gonna say shit to my face. What's his name? Keep putting up shit with me and Shaq. Like, okay, it's cool to get laughs and shit. Like that's cool, that's cool. Like that shit all cool. We sent that nigga all that money. He played us. He, um, the first day he pushed us back, January 13th, the first day he pushed us back, talking about he had court, like, on a Saturday. Like, come on now. Then, he he put um, he put that date, so he, he chose the February 17th date. My, um, my birthday, February 24th, I was trying to get the 24th. I even, I even told him, like, shit, that's All-Star Weekend. I know y'all probably gonna be out there, turn. So, but he was like, nah, he gonna, he gonna tour in Australia and shit. So he wanted to, um, he wanted to choose that date. 
in um, Cali. So anyway, motherfuckers been calling me. Motherfuckers been calling him. I had famous people calling him, like Pac-Man Jones, niggas that be with him. He wasn't answering this call. He told us he's leaving at 7, 8, 7 or 8 on um, Cali time. He coming here doing this show and leaving, going back to Cali. I guess the private jet was got down 7,000. 7,000 here, 7,000 there. We even gave that man an extra 7,000 to come here. The snacks and bottles came from, it was in the contract I had to get him. That's called the rider. But motherfuckers don't even be understanding just jumping on here talking about motherfuckers janky when motherfuckers sent this man like 40 racks and he don't even show up. Probably right, motherfuckers don't even show up and they just jumping in. A lot of niggas gonna say shit behind uh, Facebook but ain't gonna say shit to nobody face. Like, yeah, level still gonna be lit tonight. Cause all the real niggas fuck with me. I lost respect for a lot of people though. That's crazy. He called me. He called me two times. He called me two times this morning. But like at this point, like it ain't nothing to talk about. We handling that shit in court. We need all that money back. I ain't try to put my gun on my hip. That shit stay with me, goddamn. You acting crazy. I ain't, I ain't try to do that. That's that's just a part of me. I don't need no guns, we got our limb. But it ain't even about that. We built our name up from shit. Like motherfuckers, we promoted this shit. We promoted this shit like two months, tagging this dude and everything. That shit, he would have been said like, oh, this show fake. It was too many people tagging me. Like some of y'all people don't even make sense. At first, look, first motherfuckers, look, at the beginning, motherfuckers like, yeah, they ain't got the money to get the, like, come on now. Yeah, I'ma see what he say. But motherfuckers at first said, hey, they ain't got the money. First it was, this is how Cincinnati is. First it was like, oh, they ain't got the money to bring Thug. And then, okay, we, we, got the, we got the money to bring Thug. We sent them the money, contract, everything good. Then it was, then it was, okay, next, you know, next, the haters got to say something next. Then it was, um, oh, Thug gonna be shitty. We going to the skate party. Like, I be seeing all that shit. Niggas would be like, I ain't going to Thug. Like, but that's cool. It be just motherfuckers. I, like, it's crazy when he pushed back the first, yeah. When he pushed back the first date, I wanted to cancel it, but everybody was like, nah, do the second date. Do the second date, like, um, uh, do the second date. That's gonna be tax time. That bitch gonna be jumping. Young Thug just came out with Jeffrey. I think it's a great body of work. I know okay. you you only you didn't get a chance to really. Yeah, I heard. I haven't heard it. Well, you couple, you heard a couple tracks. So yeah, I heard a couple few. tracks. Yeah. What do you think so far? I mean, you got Wyclef on there. Okay. Who else? Doesn't it sound more like he only heard a couple tracks? I heard the whole thing. It sounds like Young Thug put more work into making a body of work this time instead of just collecting songs here and there and making okay. a mixtape. It sounds like he went into the studio and made a body of work with a theme. See, the thing about it, Young Thug, you know what I'm saying? I'm very proud of him. My little youngin' right now, cause he's uh, he's growing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From when he first started. He always had a talent. Yeah. And now you watching him grow from uh the when he first started. Mm -hmm. Uh and you could tell it by uh not just the music, just by as him as a person. Yeah. He's growing, you know what I'm saying, like elevating from just being, you know, crazy in the streets. Now he learned how to control the industry, mm. he, he he not moving the market, man, and yeah. uh, and 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 I'm really proud of him, man. You know what I'm saying? What do you think about him with the whole dress on the cover? You know, like I said, I don't think it's a dress. I think it looks like Ray. Yeah, yeah, like, like I said, it's it, yeah. like Ray, like yeah. Mark. It's just really that. This is marketing, whatever. He do, I think man. it's true, and it was a great marketing. Yeah, it's great. Uh, everybody was talking. This kind of remind me of my boy Fable. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like yeah. when Fable do his thing. You know, it's just you know you got to enter. It's, it's what we doing today is it's, it's about entertaining. It's yeah. about entertaining our fans and giving them something to talk about. Yeah. Like if you ain't, if they ain't talking about you, you ain't doing nothing. He's you adapting to the era. Like that right now, it's about you always have to have some controversy going on. Now. Yeah, yeah. Like before, it's not just about the music anymore. It's like you need more than the music. Yeah. And he's he's doing the right thing. Yeah. Cause if they if they ain't talking about it, you ain't doing shit. Exactly. Good or bad. They won't even listen. Like they might miss this great album you just dropped. So he's making sure you don't miss it. Yeah. You're gonna fucking you're gonna pay attention. Yeah. That's a good. It's good. Yeah. I like it. Goo Goo Ops on there too. You you didn't hear that track yet, but. Yeah, we're gonna check it out in a minute, man.